Um, we are in the second year studio and landscape architecture program here at SNRE, and this is my um, very messy desk. Well, I've always had a, a knack for creative work, um, which is why I went to the School of Art and Design. Um, studying product design, I thought, you know, this would be a great creative outlet, and um, but eventually I figured out that the design of objects was not really what I wanted to spend my time on. And so, um, you know, looking more at kind of wholesale human happiness, what, make, what make the, makes people happy. Um, and I thought that a lot could be done in the, the places that we live, um, our built environment, um, whether that be through art um, or design or just planning, which is really important. The dual degree, um, they match, they mesh so perfectly for me. Um, logistically, it's a little tricky. Um, you're on two different campuses, but for me, that's been extremely worth it because they're completely, they're different schools, so d different views. Um, you're involved with a different network of people on either campus, um, and there's just the possibilities are endless for ways that you can apply landscape architecture um, to urban planning problems and issues, and vice versa. So, um, you know. Uh, Conceptually, they're perfect, and I'm the only one doing that right now, so it would be great if more people joined me. <laughs> well, one thing that I really um, appreciate about University of Michigan and Ann Arbor as a whole, um, where this is, this is a place that, um, that tries really hard to be inclusive, and I, I take that as a designer. Um, but that's that means a lot to me like how can I design places that are inclusive I for one wouldn't be here if it wasn't for kind of like income diversity I come from a really low income background um, and so yeah I, I feel like I feel valued here and I um, am glad that I'm in a place where um, others uh, from other views and other places and other value systems and cultures are also here and valued <laughs>